Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 29th, 2019. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a great evening and ready to get started for the day. This morning, we're looking at a market that seems to be just a little bit pensive. We'll talk about that here in just a second, but a little bit, a little bit of, um, well, angst i guess um probably based on some of the earnings results last night so let's take a look at what's going on here in our market when we look at the dow the dow is still struggling here struggling with price resistance levels in this chart if we take a draw something across here we've got this level right in here that seems to be um, giving the market the dow a little bit of trouble now it depends on how you draw this but as i look at this daily chart we we draw across here and i see a breakout of this downtrend um, this short-term downtrend that we've been in here in the dow if we take a look right here though we're just struggling with this price resistance level and we're lagging behind the the spy and the cues um, that have already made that new record high breakout unfortunately we have a pretty big move that we have to do to get up there to to follow suit with the rest of the markets we would have to oops we would have to move up substantially to get through um, those resistance levels can still be done for sure and the bulls are clearly in control with the overall longer term certainly showing bullishness here we're moving to the upside here on the longer term if we take a look this morning however we're getting a little bit of a bearish move this morning in the dow just a little bit of a pullback here like i said i th we're a bit pensive here this morning as we head into earnings now that could certainly improve or get worse depending on how those earnings come out throughout the morning we have a big day of earnings reports let's take a look at our moving averages here when we look at our averages on these charts as you can see we are clearly in that bullish mode holding above our 50-day moving average so right now now, just that little bit of a um, resistance level right in here that we have to still deal with in this chart may be causing a little bit of trouble here this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY made its decision yesterday, popped right on through, new record high print yesterday, struggled up here toward the end of the day holding on to that record high. Um, well, I shouldn't say that struggled to hold on to the high of the day held on to its record high close firmly holding in there and this morning again this we're looking at just a ever so slightly lower open right now on the um dow or um, on the s p 500 futures uh, showing just a little bit of pensiveness this morning a little bit of pullback uh, possible now one of the critical things that when you look at a market like this and I, I i get these comments all the time well now that we broke out look out here we go we're going to go to 350 or everyone wants to predict where we're going to go the first thing we have to do after breaking out is actually prove that we can hold this level of support a breakout is no good to us if we pr happen to fail and prove that we can't hold it. So the next phase of this move is that we must prove that we can hold this level as support and, and stay up here or this breakout really didn't mean anything. So remember that, that um, don't waste your time trying to predict where the market's going to go let's just focus on what the price is doing right now and trying to uh, focus in on um, what we need to see to gain that confidence in the market that we are going to hold that we're going to hang on to this and then we have that nice potential for that price move to the upside doesn't mean we can't follow through today we could actually follow through higher but please keep in mind the important thing is we eventually will have to test this level as support somewhere in here either with a consolidation or a pullback to prove that that is going to hold 
and we need that um, proof before we can really get confident in the upside move here in the SPY. Bulls are in control. Everything is showing well there. And just remember, we've got that little bit of a pullback maybe suggesting this morning, probably due to those earnings last night. Let's take a look at the cues. Q's also made a confidently strong move, breaking through, leaving a gap behind. And this morning, the Q's, the NASDAQ, is actually showing a tiny little pullback here this morning. Just, a, just an ever so slight pullback here this morning, even though Google disappointed last night. Um, and really, uh, um, well, may pull the averages down just a little bit here on the NASDAQ. So let's watch that closely. Just showing a little bit of pullback possible. And as you can see, we have a gap below. And again, the critical factor here is breaking out is one part of the solution, one part of the equation. Second part of that equation, we need to prove that we can hold it as support. After that, clear skies above, the all clear signal is, is sounded and we have upside potential. So let's watch uh, for that and be careful not to predict that this is just um, all bullish all the time and we can just fly in there without any risk. We need that proof. Let's take a look at the IWM. IWM. Um, <sighs> Nice move yesterday, moving up, and this has broken um, this long-term downtrend, broken through that long-term downtrend finally, and trying to show that it wants to participate with the rest of the market. This has been in this ugly downtrend for all year and struggling here. Now that we pop through, we must prove that this is support. We did this once before, pop through, and we were unable to hold it as support. We need that proof that this can hold as support. Then we may get IWM, those small caps moving with the rest of the market, and that will certainly help the overall bullishness if we can get all four of the indexes moving in one direction that would be a nice change and so we're going to want to watch pretty closely on IWM to make sure it can hold that level of support and really prove itself. Please keep in mind, its 50-day moving average is still below the 200-day moving average. So we still have officially that death cross in place, but it is trying to catch up here pretty quickly. Um, just don't be too surprised if um, this needs to pull back before that occurs. Let's take a look at the VIX. The old VIX made a move down yesterday. We actually, at one point in the day, we hit a 12 handle. Uh, we were down at 12.66, hit a 12 handle, but then started to lift back up just slightly. And I think that's probably, um, we may just be a little bit stretched in this move up. Maybe we've, we've pushed it too hard, too fast. It may need to just rest. Now, that doesn't mean it has to pull back, that the market has to pull back. What it may mean is we just consolidate. We consolidate this new breakout hold up there for a while to prove that we can hold on to it and then move on up. And the VIX pushed down yesterday showing no fear and then just a little bit of fear creeped in. But we're down here in an area where we don't have to worry too much unless we get some kind of a shocking move. So even if we do rally a little bit, meaning that the market pulls back or consolidates a little bit, anything that stays below this resistance level in here, I think we're in pretty good shape um, on the VIX. So we do always have to keep an eye on it because it can show us turning points and things like that. One thing I am getting a little bit concerned uh, about is when we reach down into these levels, um, I start to feel like the market has become a little bit complacent and we always have to watch out for that complacency in the market because if we do get that shocking news report or something turns up to be negative, this can really spike with fear and we've seen that multiple times over the last couple of years 
where we get down kind of into that complacency zone and start back up. But let me clarify this by saying right now the bulls are in control. I'm not trying to paint a bearish picture here. The bulls are in control. And right now there's nothing in this chart that would assume anything has changed on that regard. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see this might be starting to indicate our little problem here that maybe we've stretched a little bit too far to the upside all at once. Now this does, T2122 does show us right in here that we do have upside potential yet that we can make in this market. So there still is that upside possibility that we could push up into this, um, into this bearish reversal zone and have more upside coming. What we also want to notice though is we've been stretching, stretching, stretching this move to the upside. And you can see right over here when we made these attempts in here and then we start to falter. Um, we may be just reaching that little bit of overbought condition for the short term. And that may mean nothing more than a consolidation up here at these high levels. But that will usually help um, T2122 pull back a little bit. So keep in mind, we still, we do have, even though we have upside potential, we have a big open space here to the downside for some kind of a pullback or rest in the market to be aware of. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a couple things to say about how the market might move around, but I think probably by and large, we'll be moving based on earnings reports today. So let's uh, keep an eye on that. But we do have uh, Case Shiller here, and we have consumer confidence, and we have pending home sales. These can move the market, and we'll want to pay attention to those um, as they roll out between 9 and 10 a.m. Eastern time today. So keep that in mind as those come around. Please remember that tomorrow we have big reports, the GDP and we have the FOMC in the afternoon. Now the reason I bring that up for today is it's entirely possible we get a morning rush, we get that big push, that flush of activity as um, earnings roll out this morning. But then don't be too surprised if the market just kind of goes stale and quiet. That tends to happen as we head toward the FOMC. We could just kind of get stagnant and, and choppy as the market waits. And then we could see that flow through all the way to tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Don't be too surprised if that does occur. It may not occur, but don't be too surprised if it does occur. That's kind of typical price action. But this may be an atypical situation because we have so many earnings today coming out and we'll have to um, see how the market reacts to all of that today. A lot to digest. And speaking of earnings, we have about 250 companies reporting earnings today. So we have a big round of reports this morning and that will transfer, of course, after the bell tonight. So make sure folks, make sure you're doing a, your very best at checking um, those earnings dates. Now, TC2000 has the ability to put those earnings dates right on your chart, so you shouldn't miss those. But if you are if you don't know where to find those, I, I highly recommend you find those because we often get good potential buy signals right before a disappointing earnings number. We've seen that multiple times. Just take, um, oops. Alphabet as an example of that. We have all kinds of confidence in moving up and going strong. We have a breakout and a, um, a real nice move up ahead of earnings and then we get that earnings disappointment pulling it back substantially. So you always want to know about those earnings reports and you want to plan carefully around earnings. So make sure you're checking. And we just have so many coming this week that it it's just going to be a nonstop barrage of data um, coming at the market that can move us around. So keep that in mind and make sure you're paying attention to those reports.
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up. You know, I do um, I do these uh, morning videos every single uh, market morning and I try to I try to provide good quality information without all the hype and out all, without all the prediction that you might find other places. I want to look specifically at the technicals and see what could affect the market for today and how we might want to approach the market for today. And if you find that helpful, if you could click those thumbs up buttons and also leave a brief comment. It doesn't have to be a big comment. Heck, just leave the thumbs up. Um, um, on the in the comment line that's perfect because all we really need is uh, folks commenting on the videos and that helps the algorithm show these uh, videos to more folks and we continue to grow the channel and by the way some of you guys um, your comments are so amazing so humbling um, I truly truly appreciate um, all of the kind words of support. You guys are amazing. Thank you very, very much for everyone who does do that. You guys are the best. I truly, truly appreciate you. So with that, uh, to show some appreciation, one of the things I like to do is provide some stocks that could be setting up, some things that we might wanna be watching for um, in the market. Please keep in mind that any stocks I show you in here are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's up to you as a trader to evaluate each and every trade and determine whether or not that trade is a good position for you to be thinking about. So first off, let's take a look at a couple of trades that I have been talking about and um, have made some really nice moves here recently. Let's take a look at Roku. Roku, I've been bringing up over and over and over, and this little pink line was my price alert on this chart. And although we faltered here just a little bit, if you guys remember in some of the morning videos, I said, as long as we hold on to that support, I think we're okay. And then um, triggering here and then moving beautifully yesterday. Now, I wouldn't suggest chasing this trade uh, now in Roku. Although we do have this beautiful upside trend, I wouldn't suggest chasing this. I think the next position, the next time to look for this trade is when we get that little rest or consolidation. We may move on up and test these resistance levels up in here or even higher, but we want to wait for that next entry when we pull back or consolidate just like we did here. Move up strongly, consolidate over to trend. Move up strongly, consolidate over to trend. So we want to wait for that next entry into the position. And um, Roku, certainly showing bullishness as we approach uh, these resistance highs in the chart. Um, I have also mentioned um, uh, PFE um, as a potential, not PFE, um, yeah, no, it was it was Pfizer, PFE. Um, I just had that stretched out. PFE as a potential trade. Now today, Pfizer reported earnings. So if you got into this trade, hopefully it was just a quick trade. We did have folks in RWO that reported um, five, six, seven, eight percent type returns on this move after just breaking this little area right here, that little alert that I had on the chart popping up here into resistance. Now Pfizer's reported earnings and moving up here this morning. So Pfizer could still be um, a, a chart to be paying attention to. What I would do is wait for that earnings reaction to subside, possibly after this pop up here, maybe a rest consolidation or pullback, and then we look for that next entry into the trade on Pfizer. So keep that one in mind. Take a look at Lulu. Lulu, I've been talking about as a possibility of a trade. There's my price alert on the chart, and I've been paying attention to this overall trend here in Lulu. And we gapped down yesterday, but rallied right straight back up. So please keep in mind, when we look at a trend like this, it is entirely possible that that stock bounces around in this area. It can go uh, completely sideways over to the trend, or we can do more like this. 
See how we bounced around here for a little bit and then eventually pulled back into the trend before we had that opportunity to move higher. So keep that in mind. Lulu continues to set up. Could be a possible trade to be paying attention to. Keep an eye on old Lulu. Uh, JB Hunt. JB Hunt. Um, I've been watching this chart uh, continuing to form this potential trade. This is a pattern that I call a pop out of the box where we get this nice tight consolidation in here. Notice that that consolidation is holding this price support. So as we hold in here, maybe slide sideways, and we, by the way, we can continue to just slide sideways in here for a period of time. Let's watch this stock to see if maybe it could start moving up, gravitating up toward its resistance or toward its earnings reports. Keep an eye on JB Hunt. It's looking pretty good here overall. Um, other charts, um, there's quite a few other charts that could be setting up. Take a look at a, let's see, all of a sudden I can't think of the symbol, um, ADVE. Nope, that's not it. Um, I'll think of it, guys. Um, um, a, a symbol we looked at yesterday that was looking really, really good, showing some signs of improvement, a nice little pattern. Um, um, I'll think of it here as um, hopefully as we go along. Take a look at stocks like um, Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware was a chart that I alerted everyone to back over here where we popped through that resistance right there. There's that nice long consolidation holding into that trend and making this nice trending move here. We call this a T-line run, and that's where we're just running up the eight exponential moving average. You can see in uh, this chart, um, that black line is the eight exponential moving average, and we're just making that nice clean T-line run, and just very stable moving on up, looking very, very good. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best day. And if you're struggling as a trader right now, I want to encourage you to never give up on your trading. You know, trading is a difficult business to be in. And if you're struggling, let us know. If there's something we can do to help, we'd love to help. Otherwise, I want to encourage you to stick with it. Never give up on that dream. And I'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.